Have you ever seen shafts? What is the main function of shafts? Where they can be used? What material is used for making shafts? How it is manufactured? What stresses acts on shaft? How to design shafts sustaining these stresses which acts on it? Plenty of questions? Right? Well, I have answers to all your questions. So watch this video from start to end to know all answers. Let's get started. Hello guys, welcome to my channel Necrozin. If you are new to my channel then please subscribe my channel and for latest updates hit the bell icon. A shaft is a rotating element which is used to transfer power from one place to another. The power is delivered to the shaft by some tangential force and result in torque set up within the shaft, permits power to be transferred to various machine elements linked up to shaft. In order to transfer power from one shaft to another, the various members such as pulleys, gears are mounted onto it. These members along with force exerted upon it cause the shaft to bending. In other words, we may say that a shaft is used for transmission of to work and bending moment, generally carbon steel of different grades is used for making shafts. The material should have following properties. High strength, good machinability, high wear resistance, and good heat treatment properties. Shafts can be manufactured by using manufacturing processes, like lathe turning, hot rolling, cold rolling etc. Shafts produced by cold rolling are stronger than hot rolling, but with high residual stresses. Well, residual stresses are those stresses, which are present in a part, without any external load acting on it. Generally this stress is generates, because of manufacturing processes. Generally shafts are of two types, transmission shaft and machine shaft. Transmission shafts are those. Shafts which are transmit power between, source and machine absorbing powers. Since, these shafts carries machine parts, such as pulleys, gears hence they are subjected to bending, in addition to twisting. Machine shafts form, an integral part of the machine itself. The crankshaft is an example of machine shaft. So what are different types of stresses, which are set up in shafts? First one is shear stress due to, twisting or transmission of torque. Bending stress is due to, forces acting on machine elements like gears. And last is combined stress is due to, combined to work and bending stresses. In next video we will see about design criteria of shaft and design of shaft based on twisting moment only. So if you enjoy this video then like and share this video and subscribe my channel Nekazan for more videos. Thanks for watching.